This is the KCOM Stadium. Welcome to you. Nice to have you along for the ride today. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. Hull City against Norwich City. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Well, it does separate the good from the not-so-good, the ability to score, and I'm afraid Hull City are in the not-so-good category. Well, surely in training they'd have been having a bit of shooting practice, more than a bit, because they've been missing the target far too many times. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Off we go with the kickoff. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. We've got the whole City team here for you. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. Yan Uzai, Madison, James Madison. It's a pass, another pass. At the moment, just giving them possession and not much more than that. Javier Hernandez. Now they can go forward, having won the ball. Alan McAnally is at Selhurst Park today, and he's got some goal news for us. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's been scored by Juan Moutinho. I think the bar is still shaking. The thunderous shot hit the underside, and the keeper barely moved. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. And it's a corner now. Not wanting to catch the corner, he's fisted it away from danger. Just cleared downfield, not a proper pass, because the pressure is so intense. It's Lingard, and he wants to run at them with the ball, it's good to see. Jesse Lingard gives it away. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. Here is the Norwich City team for you today. Sergio Romero plays in goal. Nelson Semedo starts alongside Ben Chilwell at the back. And he's plumped for an attacking lineup with two out and out attackers. Hernandez. Alvaro Morata. That's a good block. Put the corner in the middle. That's a decent header, but not quite good enough. Well, they've got to get tighter to him because he's a really good header of the ball. He showed it there. Now Eves. It's good work this, as they chase a go-ahead goal. Well, poor pass, good interception. Take your choice. Real chance. Well, the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we could see it coming, I think. I think even the team that's just conceded could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. It's all about the weight of the pass here. He hardly had to break stride, and he finished it emphatically. Hull City have the lead. Ben Chilwell. James Madison. Chilwell, quick-witted and quick in his movement too, to intercept there. Yeah, the host with less possession, that's interesting. They're doing a great job here. It's been a classic counter-attacking performance. You don't always need to be dominating possession to get yourselves ahead. Could get his cross in now. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Hernandez, Lingard, this could bring them level, back into play off the post, good save by the keeper, Alan McAnally's got news of a goal in the Manchester City game, it's a second goal for Manchester City, 35 minutes played, 2-0, cheers Alan, just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception, 
And the ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Hernandez. Morata. Alvaro Morata. Hernandez! Oh, it's hit the post, it's still alive. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Swung in from the corner. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Interception here. Can find some space here on the flanks. There will be a minimum of two minutes of army time. Got in the way. Well, that's half time at 1 0. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Now Lingard. Ben Chilwell. It's Jesse Lingard. James Madison. Encouraging play from this team now. Keeping the ball. Yanuzai. Out into the wide areas now. Defender's done well here to clear the danger. It's the sort of service Morata wants. He's gone for the volley, and it nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there. Known for that kind of volley. Alan McAnally's at the Etihad Stadium, and he's got news of a goal for us. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 53 minutes playing, 3-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Oh. He's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. We have so much covered for you on EA Sports, including the EFL Cup fixture for Hull City. They'll be hosting Crystal Palace. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. That's out of danger there with that clearance. It's Jesse Lingard. It's about decision here. Which player is he going to pass it to? A chance for the equaliser. Saved, but not decisively. Just cleared downfield. Not a proper pass because the pressure is so intense. Norwich City's next game, Alan. Good vision here. Lingard. The target, Edin Dzeko. And the goal gives them the equaliser. A goal of uh, top class, really, here. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. So, away we go at one all. Well, our reporter Alan McAnally is at the Etihad and he's got news of a goal. It's another goal for Manchester City. 67 minutes played, 4 0. Thanks, Alan. Well, here's a chance. The press worked. And it is a goal kick. Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. Edin Dzeko. Patient play from them. Lost the ball. I think we all knew deep down, Alan, that this was a deal that was going to be done. It's, they've taken their time getting their man, but they've got him. Yeah, I think his form had been affected by all the transfers. Back. A great chance to go in front. Simple stop from Sergio Romero. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Clear opportunity. It's in for them. Wow, that has come as a surprise, particularly to the opposition. They were dominating the match. But the team have made good use of a, a stray ball in midfield. They've taken it on. 
good play, good from their point of view, not so good for the opposition. Well, I thought he'd got enough on it there, Martin. I thought he'd done enough to save it. It's the expected move, the extra striker for the team that's struggling. Well, that's going to ask some different questions of that defence. Can they cope? Giving the ball away now. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here, and that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they've recognised that it has been a really good... And it's a shot now! Off the post! Saw it coming. He's seen the shot. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. To be replaced by number 22, Eric Lamella. Ben Chilwell. Still 2-1, time ticking away. Not quite to set in stone the result yet. Can you think what it's going to mean for their next game, Alan? Well, Hull City go up against Crystal Palace after this. And they have played well, they've struck the ball around, and uh, they'll be hoping to continue that. And here he's probing with the pass. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. 88 minutes played here. It's so frustrating for them. They're on the attack, they can't break through. Lamella. Target, Eddie Dzeko. Fantastic work from the goalkeeper and his teammates congratulate him. They're still in front. Now it's interventions like that that can really win your trophies and they might have just won this game. Big decision for the referee, big moment in the game. This late, a penalty. Oh, the lad holding his head in disgust. He knows he's made a real mistake there. Well, sometimes we talk about the double whammy, but it's a single whammy here, it's just a penalty. Yeah, the player concerned looked a little relieved. I think he thought he was going to see yellow there. And puts away the penalty. from the spot in style. Well, I'm sure the keeper's done his homework in terms of where this lad puts his penalties, but to no avail here. Well, it's level again in the match. What a roller coaster ride it's been. Well, that is the final whistle. It's all square. Very enjoyable, it's finished level. Is that about right, Alan? I think so. Both sides had chances to score more, but uh, I think I'll both be happy with their lot. Well, it's finished here with the lowest scoring team in the division getting a draw from this game, and a good effort from their point of view. Yeah, well, the defenders can be applauded for that. Still got to work on creating and taking chances, though.